Europa. You know, um, I'm really pleased to be here as Foreign Minister of Sweden, attending this meeting for the first time uh, as a Foreign Minister uh, from Sweden uh, in the um, uh, situation as an invitee. And uh, we are very grateful for the support being shown to Sweden and to Finland uh, in our accession process towards reaching full NATO membership. I look forward to exchanging views with my colleagues and I think that this will be a productive meeting when it comes to the uh, formation of uh, the NATO uh, uh, processes and I think it's very good for me as a foreign minister of Sweden to be able to participate in the meeting. How is the progress with Turkey and Hungary? Are you disappointed by Hungary as a European EU country still only having the decision in February? I think a dialogue is ongoing and uh, we have of, of course noticed the, uh, um, the, the um, um, communication by uh, the Prime Minister of Hungary to the effect that Hungary is going to uh, uh, ratify the accession of Sweden and Finland and that is positive. How much a part of NATO do you already feel? Well, Sweden has had a very close cooperation in many projects. Uh, you know, the um, not, not at least the uh, the uh, steady progress uh, when it comes to NATO accession over the years. So uh, we do feel very close to NATO, but we are not full members yet. What do you expect from your talks today with the uh, Turkish and uh, Finnish foreign ministers? Do you expect any concrete progress on your accession process? We will exchange views, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, when all is said and done, it is the fulfillment of a trilateral memorandum that was signed in Madrid this summer between Sweden, Finland and Turkey that would show you know, the ability for us to, to reach full NATO membership because it is only when all the conditions are fulfilled that uh, the Parliament of, NATO, uh, Parliament of, of uh, Turkey will, will uh, ratify the Swedish uh, um, and the Finnish uh, uh, accessions. Turkey has said that Sweden still has not done enough to meet those commitments. What else can it do? What else can it offer? Sorry, I didn't notice. Um, Turkey has said that Sweden has not done enough to meet those commitments. What else can it offer? Well, everything boils down to a dialogue. We believe that we are on a steady path towards reaching all the conditions laid down in the memorandum. We also expect this to be the case. Uh, I would like to underline, though, that there are things in this memorandum which is important to Sweden as well. As, for instance, the, uh, the um, uh, uh, better cooperation between crime-fighting authorities. This is important because we see that people commit crimes in Sweden and then go off to Turkey, uh, and we want to have them back in order to be able to, uh, to fulfill the, uh, the process of, of uh, carrying out justice. So what thank happened? you very much. And one question. 